Hmm. So on Kickstarter, Patoon Studio have announced and successfully funded Curse of the Sea Rats. It's a new rat-based Metroidvania with hand-drawn art style. Alistair, the one thing I'll say about this is I do really like the art style on this. I think it looks really cool. It does. It's different, isn't it? It's... um, I don't even know how to describe it, to be honest. It's just... uh, Pleasing. (laughs) Mm. Pleasing is the best way to describe it. There's something kind of soft and rounded and gentle about it, but it it reminds me of... It does remind me of the 16-bit era. It reminds me of sort of the SNES and the Mega Drive. It reminds me of a lot of the cartoons that me and you would have watched growing up in the sort of early 90s, late 80s, you know, the way the drawing, the the art is. Um, and possibly that's because it is hand-drawn um, and that was before, you know, we were using computers as, as much for, for a lot of it. But um, yeah, the, the, the local co-op as well, Anton, and that I must admit that side of it did get me kind of interested. Yeah, you know, it's um, Metroidvanias have become such a, a crowded field in uh, recent years and I, I think it's really crit. Uh, credit to this game for making itself stand out, you know, through the the fact it's got co-op, uh, how it looks with that kind of yeah, it's like Disney almost how it is animation, and you know, I think just the fact that you know it's a simple thing, but the fact that they went for rats rather than humans has a uh, some nice charm to it. Um, you know, it's it's just a charming little wee game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got to say it's um it, I do like it and it's interesting because as you say there are so many Metroidvania style games but it's Kickstarter and it's been successfully funded and funnily enough <laughs> the next story is very similar because the the Whisper also in Kickstarter has been announced and successfully funded sorry the game's called Steam Dolls Order of Chaos it's from the Whisper they're the team behind it but it's um it's a new hack and slash Metroidvania with dark presentation the one thing I'll say about this one Anton is it's got a very different look to it um, uh, in terms of its Metroidvania ness, this to me reminds me much more of a traditional Metroidvania type game. Yeah, this is a uh, very much gothic horror inspired, uh, tons of blood. Uh, it's kind of got some slashing uh, combat in the style, maybe a Katana Zero, uh, but mm-hmm. a, a lot more conservative in its approach of uh, kind of Metroidvania. But I think it's little wee edges. It's really pushing the the edginess, Alistair. Uh, you really it need to is. have your snapback hat and your kind of red sunglasses to play this one. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. This is like Blade. <laughs> if, if Blade was uh, turned into a game these days, it kind of looks a little bit like that. Um, very dark, very ethereal, I guess. And like I say, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of the red stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it does look good. I've got to say. Um, again, my my question is after Kickstarter. Is there enough there for people to really want to choose this over other um, games? I guess pricing will come into it, but certainly look out for it. It does look good. 